This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum Excuse me, where's the line over here? Where can I stand? Yeah, right there. Okay, recently you folks may have seen my vid called Free State versus Police State. Strategy needed. There, I and others who know more than me suggested Free Staters in New Hampshire need a more specific strategy for liberty in our lifetime. I figured we could either crowdsource and elect the strategy itself, or maybe elect a strategist. I'm building a rough draft of a suggested strategy, but if we were to elect a strategist, who would be the best one? Well, I'll name names in a second. And no, I'm not one of the names. I would probably reject this job, even if it were handed to me. But anyway, regarding the ideal candidates, first we should ask, what are the ideal characteristics of our hypothetical elected strategist? Well, she should ideally be a New Hampshire native, or someone who was here before the Free State Project. You can take your silly video, okay? And video whatever you want. Okay, what are you right? leaving here? I'm leaving you a $100 ticket. Authorities target leaders, so she would be a hard target difficult for the government to intimidate. No kids or house that can be taken away. No wild lifestyle or major skeletons in the closet. Respectable and respected. She would be comfortable in the worlds of civil disobedience, politics, and media. Her ideology would have to be minarchist or voluntarist. She would be photogenic. And she would be a she, ideally. She would uh, hold, or have held, a political office in state. And of course, she should more or less want to do it. In other words, she probably does not exist, this ideal candidate. <clears throat> However, there are some people who uh, hit on perhaps two-thirds of these cylinders. My four favorites in the order they occur to me. I've played a lot in tactics over the years, but uh, I certainly support somebody's rights to not pay him. Mark Warden. He's an established and respected state rep. He's already survived a massacre of his party in the state house and heavy targeting by authoritarians. People consider him photogenic and he's got a history of attending civil disobedience events, not just politics. He's not afraid of being associated with stuff and I don't, I don't know of him having any kids that can be used against him. He might be a little too busy to put too much time into strategizing. But if he's willing to delegate, he could just pick and call strategies developed by others. Second option, Brad Jardis. Brad is very strategic. He, uh, I, I, I don't know that, uh, I don't know if that is the case with Mark or not. Linda, you look great all the time. I'm trying to use, you know, politician speak to, to get people to, uh, to have a ride. And he's more controversial and does not have quite as much of a winning history politically. But again, he's comfy inside and outside the political system. Good with media. Good at getting media. I get the impression he's photogenic from the way women treat him. And uh, he's got energy and repeatedly proven he's got the guts to stand up to government intimidation. He resigned his position uh, at a New Hampshire police department rather than hurt the innocent. No kids, but I bet that probably won't be the case for long with his hot new wife. So, Brad, we must use you or lose you. <laughs> anyway, he's not a free stater. I think he may be a native. That's good. Third option, Eileen Landes, head of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. She's either a native or was at least here before the FSP, so she's not a free stater, I don't think. Having her in charge sends a message of deference to the longtime locals. I believe she has kids, but if they're old enough, then the authorities would not be able to use them against her easily. She's probably the prettiest 50-something in the whole state, and very respectable. Sorry, but this appearance thing counts in the modern world of television and YouTube PR wars. I don't know how good she is at mingling uh, with the civil dis world. She seems more political. I don't know if everyone in the movement would consider her ideologically pure or not. I don't know. But she hits on a lot of these cylinders. 
a man I very much respect and admire, and welcome him to the free state of New Hampshire, Dr. Ron Paul. Fourth option, Jim Forsyth, former NH state senator. The higher position is good that he's been in. Uh, he's a longtime local. Is he native? I don't know. He's not a free stater, I don't think, or at least he was here before the Free State Project. He's photogenic, even I can tell that. Respectable, good liberty voting track record. Ran for Congress as a Republican. Pretty close to Ron Paul. GOP likes him, I think. Not currently serving in office, so maybe not as busy as some. I don't know what his level of coziness is with the civil dis crowd. He does hang with Free Staters some. Former Air Force. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I don't think he has any kids, so that's good. Don't know much about his media history, but he's always been good with me as an interview. Not certain what his exact ideology is or how universally acceptable it would be within the movement. Of these candidates, I don't know how good any of them are at strategy, except Brad Jardis. And I just know that he is strategic. I'm not sure how effective his actual strategies are. Jury's still out. But he's probably one of the most holistic of these people in terms of civil dis, politics, courts, media. I need to know more before saying any of them is best. And I've probably forgotten somebody. Who knows if any of these people will ever have the chance of doing something like this. But the NH Liberty Movement needs a strategy. And it may need an elected strategist. These are my suggested candidates off the top of my head. Who are yours? And how do we make this happen? This is what a New Hampshire Liberty Forum looks like. And this is what you'll look like if you miss it. FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum. FreeStateProject.org slash Liberty Forum.